Hello, it's uh, Roland from East Marsh Acres, and um, it's Sunday night, and it's uh, finally decided to cool off a little bit, and so we're going to take a little tour around the uh, the grounds to show you what we've done and what has been happening as we went along. Anyways, um, here is the uh, the berry patch. And so our elderberries are blooming, at least this one is. Um, so we've got uh, some nice blooms at the top of this one. This one is not as far advanced. And this one is about to bloom, I do believe. There are some bloom blossoms. Um, here's a strawberry plant. And last time I looked, it had some wee little strawberries. I don't see... Oh, there's there's one. Want a strawberry off your strawberry, Rach? Yeah. How big is it? Uh, very tiny. Well, there's two. Oh, I had my first raspberry yesterday. Oh, yeah? And here are more strawberry plants. Mm -hmm. And... Not asparagi. No strawberries that I can see. Yeah. And let's not stay in here very long. Just going to take a quick boo at the blueberries. At the booberries. Nothing there. None on there. There are some on here. Oh, they're getting big. But they're still green. The wild strawberries were bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and Trisha was working on uh, cleaning up the front lawn here a bit. And uh, so we've been doing some weeding, and it's looking much more pleasant. Um, here you can see where the meat birds were. And uh, that it needs a bit of a trim at some point yeah. in the very near future. Come on out. <laughs> we found a dead rabbit on the property this morning and Albia was very interested. Didn't know what to do with it, but very interested. So in the improbable event that he catches a rabbit, not sure that he'd know what to do with it. Oh, the rest of our berry patch. Oh, that's right. Where there's actually some So this is the raspberry section of the berry patch. Oh, there are some nice ones in there. Mm-hmm. Petrushka. Here for a raspberry. One. Your one and only of the year. No, there's a bunch coming. They're just small. You can see that there's lots coming. I already coming. ate one yesterday. But yeah, that's coming. And I'm sure those ones back there, the mature ones there, will have stuff too. So we'll get, have to get to clearing these out. I'm working on it. Rachel's done uh, two rows. And maybe two rows to go. And there is a plum. Well, I cut all this down. On here grass. somewhere. Oh, it's on the other one, isn't it? Cardboard down. There is a plum. Yeah, 
Uh, I can't remember where it is. Rachel, do you remember where the plum is? Yeah, it's at the back. Back here somewhere? Yeah, no, on the back. Oh, there it is. Right there. Still there. What was that? Not the best time of day. It's a lot of mosquitoes. We don't have to be out here for long. So yesterday we were doing some weeding and here's our leeks. They're looking pretty good. Slow dad, slow. You have to go slow. Otherwise people get dizzy. And here are what we've got of <laughs> carrots. Skills. Carrots. I look for carrot seeds and home depot. And the occasional volunteer yeah. tomato. Here's some more toma volunteer tomatoes. These are um, our sweet potatoes. That's not a sweet potato. No. But that is. That is, yep. Rabbits are eating that. There are Albie, you gotta potatoes, get the and they are doing quite nicely. You gotta get the rabbits and the out. beans are starting to come up. You can see them against the, uh, the fence there. We're going to have to uh, get to them and oh, train them a little bit more. They're coming yeah. along. Oh, it looks like we need to put water on here tomorrow. Yes, we do. The beans look a little on the sad side. Yeah, my, my hanging baskets are set to the to dry too. The flowers are coming along. Okay, we spent most... Uh, well, maybe we should go to the high tunnel a second. I went through a second time yesterday, and uh, you can see that the tomatoes are doing quite well. Um, I ended up taking, because uh, they all, all have brand new... Uh, leaves that are coming So I was doing exactly this where they have the leaf new leaf coming in you take the sucker out um, from indeterminate uh, Tomato some, plants. Here's some leaf curl. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad It's only Here's a little bit. But that might have to do with the heat. Yeah. Oh, the eggplants. Whoa. Looking good. Those are eggplants there. And peppers. Looks like things need water again, Trish. Yeah. Oh, little toady. Yeah. Little black toad. Yeah, you got that. Lamb's quarter grows wherever it wants. If it finds open soil, there's more lamb's quarter. Potatoes. Not a soft landing on the potatoes, Mom. <laughs> yeah. And onions. <laughs> and what are those? Squash? Fish? Squash? Squash. And I think there are some pumpkins and things in here as well. 
the uh, brassicas are underneath the uh, cloth. We won't take a look at them right now. They are growing. And here we have Looky Looky. Yeah, we'll Cukes. Saw some more yesterday too. These, they're coming up. And these are zucchini. We've already harvested one zucchini. Lots, lots more coming. So all you need is one plant, really. And I think we have four. And here are some more red onions. Okay, let's get out of here. Yep. It's Bug City. The uh, mosquitoes are just absolutely fantastic on the uh, chickens when you go to when you go to uh, put them to bed at night. And slugs, yeah, there's How lots of slugs too, Rach. Yeah, I end up with them in in my sandals too. That's why I put that's why I put the boots on. <laughs> All you see is the tail going, sort of like a white-tailed deer. I forgot the, well, the chickens and the, and the peaches and the thing. Oh yeah. Finish off the tour. This will be a really quick one. All the weeds are part of them, a third of them, that I got out of the front garden. Lawn. Lawn. And I think we'll be moving the chickens tomorrow. They're doing just fine. In fact, the young ones are starting to lay now. And they're also starting to go into their coop at night so that I don't have to do it. Um, we will be building a new run for them in this area uh, in the septic bed or over the septic bed um, probably tomorrow or so and uh, get them into that using the red, the orange netting here. And here are our peach trees, or plum trees. So this is a nectarine. We've got one nectarine growing this year. There it is. And then two peach trees. That one. And then there's this one over here. And they don't have any fruit on them this year, but it's only their first year. Um, as you can see, the chickens do a very, very good job of clearing the land. The only thing that's left are these big, tall weeds that they don't care for the, at all anyways. Get the dust bath. Dust oh, there's Whitney. one of the young ones dust bathing. They created a dust bath for themselves over here. Help them with uh, uh, parasites and probably also, I, I think they also get it to uh, uh, cool off and also to uh, help with the mosquitoes. Uh, even though the mosquitoes, as far as I can tell from looking it up on the uh, internet, they only are going to be vulnerable, chickens are only vulnerable to uh, mosquitoes, essentially, <coughs> on their uh, wattles, so the comb on the top, and uh, the little pieces that are hanging down uh, underneath their tins, um, but they can tuck their heads underneath their wings and essentially they are 
primarily impervious at that point uh, to mosquitoes. All right, that brings us to the end of this tour and uh, we'll bring you along. Um, well, we have one other thing to, to actually yeah. talk about very briefly. Uh, we had one of the meat birds tonight for supper, uh, mm -hmm. Patricia and I, uh, a leg apiece, and it was very, very good. Uh, moist, firm, and uh, not, not, too not too fatty at all. Uh, so it was very, very nice. And hopefully if the rest of them are like that, um, I think this is a, a uh, prospect for our future in terms of at least one chicken for the rest of the next year. Anyways, we will cut this one off here and talk to you again um, probably in about a, a week time or so. Talk to you soon.